the way that I have to get into here, I mean, yeah, sure, could I just move the mic so I could get in? Yeah, I could. I could just do that. <sighs> but then it would be out of place versus where I put it on setup, and there's a reason why I put it where I put it on setup, so everything fits in. And now I've just got to hope and pray. Hope and pray, 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 pray that I am currently in shot and not blocking anything. Hello my lovely lot, welcome back to our channel today. As you well know, we are back with more House of the Dragon. This is episode three and your girl is so f***ing excited, as per usual. Okay my guys, we are only two episodes into season two and honestly, I feel like quite a bit has happened. There hasn't been as much action as I thought there would probably be this soon into season two. I really did think it would be hitting off with a bang, I'm not going to lie, but obviously we have had some quite gruesome moments. We've definitely had some big losses already. There's a lot going on in terms of character development for the first two episodes. I've got to say that much. You know what you gal wants in this episode. I've been saying it for the past two episodes. I need me some dragon action. Do we get some dragons flying today? I need to see some dragons in the air. Just dragon riders. Just get me some dragon riders out here. Your girl is absolutely ready. We got to see some really interesting perspectives from Damon's point of view, from Egon's point of view, from Aemon's point of view, from Rhaenyra's point of view. Literally from everybody's perspective from last episode and I really really like that including Rhaenys and Corlys even down to Chase and Bela we literally got a little bit from everyone in the last episode which I did really like I do like not rushing through things but the girl wants some dragon action so that is what I'm hoping for today not too much waffling thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of this I'm also watching Breaking Bad on the boys at the minute as well as House of a Dragon and I've got a few films coming out in the next month as well we are going back to Star Wars I'm coming back with the prequels and I'm also going to be starting The Hobbit this week which I'm very very excited about. I'm really excited to get back into the Lord of the Rings world. And I heard there's a dragon in The Hobbit so you know your girl is there. Your girl is there and I will not be square. I'm really not sure what to expect from this episode. I'm thinking maybe we'll get a bit of a funeral for the two twins that died, Eric and Eric. That was just horrendous. I mean absolutely awful. And the fact that Eric decided to kill himself at the end. Oh. <laughs> Eric. That was so sad. Like, Eric didn't have to die. I get why he did kill himself. Because he killed his brother, but... Mm. Eric, man! So yeah, maybe we'll follow off from there. I don't know from here sort of like what the game plan is. Like, I know Egon has now said, yes, it's war. Obviously, Rhaenyra's side, no, it's war. I do think Damon might have gone off to get Harrenhal for Rhaenyra. I think she said she was sending Baylor out last time as well. So maybe we'll get to see her on her dragon. She was going to King's Landing. I do want there to be like a fight and a battle. I just don't want any of my favorite characters to die. And honestly, I do have characters that I like on the greens. In an ideal world where I live, Rhaenyra would be queen. Everyone would just be happy about it, including her siblings. And we'd all just live happily ever after. No? <laughs> but no, the men of Westeros just can't handle a strong woman. And honestly, the things don't change for the next 200 years, FYI. You know what I'm saying? Without too much further ado, my guys, let's get into it. If you fancy full-length reactions, behind the scenes, early access, all that good stuff, please consider heading over to Patreon and becoming an angel. I would appreciate it so very, very much. Okay then, my guys, let's get into it. And let's not forget, whether you're team green or team black, it doesn't matter as long as you're not team Kristen. Okay? Okay? Side note, that man literally landed on his feet last time. Like, I didn't even want to speak about him in this intro because I literally spent so much of last episode whinging about him, which, like, fair dues, to be fair. But also, like... What a guy. That man landed on his feet so hard, I cannot wait for him to get his comeuppance. I know just full well. He has to. If that man lives throughout all of this, I'll be so annoyed. Like, if Sir Kristen Cole dies of old age, I'm going to be so annoyed. So annoyed. Oh, and obvs once again, just a cheeky little Targaryen-esque outfit. These are going to come every single week. It is what it is. Let me live my best life. <laughs> Alrighty then. Rodney McRodderson. Da -da -dum -dum -da -da -dum -dum. Pay attention to the opening credits. Okay, somebody being stabbed. Somebody else dying. Ah, uh, is that Valeria? Is that the Doom then? Yeah, is that, yeah, that's the Doom, isn't it? That's the Doom of Valeria, it looks like. Oh mm, my god, so cool. Seriously, how do I get this tapestry? They don't realise what they've done, do they? In terms of um, how many people are going to want this tapestry now. <laughs> there have got to be some Etsy sellers that are already on this. There's got to be. <laughs> Ooh, is that like a... 
dagger in his throat. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> that was a low blow. Oh, wow. Love it. There's rat catchers. Oh, my God. Honestly, I don't even need to do any recap for these, do I? Because the tapestry literally recaps for us all. Oh, I see all the blood carry on going then as well. Wow. Oh, I wonder if anyone dies in this one. <laughs> Can you even get that thing up? Well enough for killing Blackwoods. <laughs> oh, I thought it was, no offence, I thought it was a girl then. Is it, is it a girl? No, girls didn't fight. They definitely didn't fight then, did they? Put the boundary stones back. We didn't move them. Is this the Blackwoods and the something else? Just rolled their way over so Bracken cows can fill their bellies on Blackwood grass. The Isaac Isaac River. Fuck the aside. This is our land. Oh, is it like two houses fighting over the land? It's Bracken land. Babe oh, no. Killer. What did you <gasps> What? Babe killer? Oh, no. Your is false queen, Rhaenyra, is a kinslayer. Your uncle declared for Aegon, did he? Oh, right, I see. It's well, two then. separate houses that Let have declared for you. different kings and queen. Aegon Targaryen is no true king. <laughs> I believe it. You're both raven. Oh, Let's... my God. Ah! No, something's going to happen. Yeah. Do we need to? Let's not. Let's not, shall we? Oh my god, he literally is. He's going to run him through. Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait, no, was that him? The one. Wait. What? Wait, wasn't. I'm so confused. That one with the sword in his neck then, was that the one that had it pointed towards the other guy a second ago? Oh my god. What's going on here? Is this these two houses about this land? What? How much time has passed since that conversation and this? Here's the basis of villains. Okay. Do we get a bit more of an explanation than that? I assume at some point. Oh, these two. Bloody lords. Keeping his oath. What of those who sent him? Mm. Jace is right though. Oh, I like how Renita's hair is less like huge at the back for this season. I don't know why they were doing a dirty with those some of those styles in season one. The young men have taken the bit in their teeth they wish to punish mm. to avenge. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. That is easy enough. Literally. They usurped my throne. That is one answer. Yeah. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Exactly. Oh, when killed Luke. They're not going to know anymore. It's going to get to a point where they don't even really know what started the war. Luke took Aemon's eye. Yeah, exactly. And the desire to Rainey's kill is right. takes hold and reason is forgotten. Mm hmm There may be another way. Oh, what are we thinking, Rainey's? Oh, is she going to like see if she can speak to when us When last we met, Alison said I would make a fine queen. You've seen what has happened since then. Aww. There is no war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin. Yeah. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Oh, God. You sent a raven. Do you not care to read her message? Oh, is it about... Yeah, 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 yeah. She permitted mm -hmm. it. As you permitted the murder of a little boy in his bed. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You didn't permit that. There's nothing to say that she permits the stuff that happens, Rhaenyra. Remember that. <laughs> you are but women Alison in this world. Is in King's Landing. Her son sits my throne. I mean, there is that too. There is nothing more to be said. Oh, bless. Oh, these two. Oh, this guy. And it's, I just want to kill him. I hate you so bad. I hate you. You're lame. Mm hmm Okay, bye. You're well, Lord Hand. You well, Lord Hand. Don't even ask him. No one cares. No one cares, Kristen. Don't even answer. Only no one cares. They'll be waiting. Let him keep waiting. Tell him he's not coming. He's resigned. Oh, I hate him so bad. Oh, are these like new banners they're putting out because they're green. Green and gold. What are you going to say now, Kristen? We just walk on by. How about that?
<laughs> nobody likes him, mate. Nobody likes him. Rumours are flying about in it. Probably heard what happened to Eric and Eric. Dumb. Mate, the way he just got looked up and down. <laughs> Love that. Any reason why you're late to Kristen? Oh, just not make it in time. Bit busy. Forgive my I literally can't stand him. You've appointed new knights? Yeah, to what the was Kingsguard, it? Your grace. To replace those we lost. The last one needlessly, some might say. Mm-hmm. Sir Arik was awarded the great duty of ending Rhaenyra's challenge. He failed to discharge it. He failed because the scheme was rash. Yeah. But we cannot all hide in our castles waiting for war to come to us. As now it's He's an idiot. Room. As now, it already has. Yep. You idiot. House Bracken took it upon themselves to attack the Blackwoods, who declared for the Pretender. Oh, God. Good. First blood in our name. Blackwoods and the Brackens have feuded for centuries. This is nothing more oh, than right. an excuse for them to indulge their ancient grudge. It's no true war. Yeah. Call it what you will. I call it war. That dagger is so legendary. What are we going to do about it? <laughs> oh my god, it's so embarrassing. And your brother Darren's dragon, Neos Fighting Age, call on them to suppress the rebellion. Uh... They're last day are months away. He's got his own dragon as well, huh? None this of them can even listen. It lately had if it's to be of any use. Yeah. Harren Hall is the key to the Riverland. Yeah, but Damon's gone there. <gasps> that would be smashing if you run into Damon. I would love that so much. Speed is my ally. I will turn the Crown Land houses who declared for Rhaenyra to our cause. And then turn west, where I will enlist the Brackens, subdue the Riverlands, and take Harren Hall. Will you balls, Sir Kristen? <laughs> Will you, Eck is like. <laughs> like your last amazing plan. <laughs> go on then. Oh, Off you, so Bob. Well. Let him go. Mm -hmm. Let him go. I love for him to just, you know, die. <laughs> and you'll take Aemond and Vega. Vega will remain here. To defend the city. Oh. To war then. Oh my god. And and what will you do if you encounter one or more of Rhaenyra's dragons? Yeah. Oh no, maybe he'll get flumbed. Oh, I'll be so sad. Where, where, where? Remain, brother. It's a brave <laughs> thought. You cannot risk your loss. Mm. Eamon, you shouldn't be saying that. Eamon should just let him go, because like, Eamon's next in line, though. No? <laughs> <laughs> Alison is every woman. <laughs> I was told you turned back from your ship to bring warning. I was not believed at first. You saved my life. Yeah, she did. You wish to be rewarded. Oh, bless. As I would think, you would wish to reward me. <laughs> Could have been kind of a repayment for letting you, you go. Oh, a bless. It's your court. Oh. I think she can give that. You said your earnest desire was to flee Westeros. And you let me go. You showed me grace when you could have withheld it. Hmm. I'm not often surprised. Oh, <laughs> why can't Rhaenyra just be queen? And that actually pains me in this life. Look at that, that lovely dragon flying in the you. background. We could have had that all through Game of Thrones if we had just not had this happen. <laughs> I know the struggles of the small folk of King's Landing, and only one of you has shown yourself to be merciful. Mm. I hope you do not confuse mercy with pliancy. Mm. Are they always like this? Sea smoke, my late lord husband's dragon. Oh, that's whose it was. Maybe he's lonely. Oh, yeah, it probably is. Like, Rhaenyra, why'd you look at her like that? And <laughs> your dragon people, maybe you should be thinking about this. Oh, is she gonna say she should take it? Cause I don't think she's got a dragon still, has she? Toward with my cousin, Lady Jane Arryn. Lady Jane Arryn. Aegon and Viserys will accompany him until a place of greater safety can be found. Taraxes is but a hatchling. I want you to go with them. Oh, to keep safe. I'm sorry to put this upon you. Oh, bless. She's trying to keep her safe. Not knowing when I will see them again. But Raina. Oh, Raina, bless. I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. 
Oh, bless Raina. Guard them as a dragon guards her eggs. And my sister. Oh. I need Bailey here because she has a dragon. I cannot promise to make you happy. Oh, bless. Make this sacrifice willingly for all of us. Oh, bless her. Because she doesn't have a dragon, she's probably really upset. No, she is really upset about it. Can't we get see if she likes to go with Sea Smoke? Have they tried? Have they tried her with all the different dragons and just, she just didn't click with one? It's so sad. Because I know her egg didn't hatch. Is this Damon and Caraxes? Yeah, that neck looks extra long to me. Oh my god, they're just so impressive to look at. Oh, go on. Damon's gonna take it before Sir Kristen can get there. Woohoo! <laughs> yes. Who is he gonna run into? Looks a bit empty, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, why have they gotta make it raining and thunder and lightning? Makes it all so much worse. <laughs> oh dear, look at the state of it. State of the place. Where where are they? They're all hiding somewhere, I'm telling you. I heard a bunch of them say, Dragon! <laughs> I'll run away crying. You would be pooping it being here by yourself though. I'd get Caraxes to like, um, just do a bit of Dracaris every now and again, just to light up the way. You know, make it seem a bit less creepy. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Halt, no. Oh, stop! Look at them all in it. <laughs> Damon's like, never mind. <laughs> I'm claiming Aaron Hall. <laughs> I'm claiming Aaron Hall. <laughs> like, cool. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Is there literally just five of them? <laughs> Is. Yeah, they're just gonna bend the knee all together like God bless them. But who are they? I Where's everyone Simon else? Strong, Castellan of Harren Hall, pledge fealty Simon to Strong, House Targaryen, first of her name. Supper is venison with black cabbage and peas. <laughs> bless. No red currant. Sorry about that. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> so these are he's related to Rhaenyra's kids. Same I'm family as the many a battle foot guy. Mean to be felled by poison peas. Oh, come on, they're not going to poison you, Damon. If you've not yet surmised, you are welcome here. Oh, God bless. Laris Strong. Hmm? He who sits at the false court of Egon. Laris Clubfoot. Laris. Is the Lord of Might. Hmm. The scourge upon this castle and this family. Mm hmm. Do you not think it's strange that his father and his brother, my nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire? And his son, too. Here, in this damp place. Yep. Mm-hmm. It was the they first know. fire here since Balerion ended the line of Harren the Black. There we go. So, no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my prince. Yeah. Your grace. <laughs> Forgive me, I, I, um... I'd only assume that as constant... And we are reminded of the perilousness of assumption. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yep. Your grace. There we go. We have Damon trying to claim. I mean, don't get wrong. It may well be the, the case he is your grace now, but he's still on it about this whole chain of command thing, ain't he? Still wants to be Perhaps king at the end of the day. I don't say he'd make a terrible king. I love his character, but <laughs> a little bit dodged though, isn't it? It's a little bit evil, eh? Why we must bring it into a state of repair. Even if we possess the coin, my prince, your grace. Oh my god. <laughs> Only Harrenhal is of a size enough to garrison them. Houses Bracken and Blackwood have long detested one another. Mm. Why? Oh, well. Land. The answer to that is lost in time. Like it will be with the houses of the dragons. Summon your Lord Paramount so that I may treat with him myself and turn them to our cause. He grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak. Oh, my God, so then who's in charge? His grip on his bannerman is weak. They feel they can do as they please. I will speak with him nonetheless. People should obey their liege lord. Whatever his condition. Oh, see, he's what I mean about Damon. It's like, he's such 
and a dragon. Uh, she's, uh, he's such a we'll complex character. Parts. Very smart, though. He's a smart guy. Well, when you are successful. <laughs> what then? We march on King's Landing and take the throne. The throne? Well, yeah, in the nicest way to do. It's a big chair. You've, <laughs> made of you've just declared for an era. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> it's a big chair made of swords. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. One of legend. This kid looks like he's got a bit of news or something. Bit of news, bit of news. Lord Commander, mm -hmm. your host is mustered and ready to march. Oh, look at him. Had a cheeky haircut. He's really going through something. That's how you know you're having a bad time with it, Sir Kristen. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so Kristen, may I present my brother, Sir Gwen? Ah, oh, his brother. My oh, Lord he Anne. was in the great. Sir Gwen, welcome to King's Landing. He was really good in that. Three long months on the road to find my Lord Father, who served three kings faithfully. Oh yeah. Not happy at all. Oh, look who's taking it. Modest beginnings. <laughs> Giddying ascent the gods have bestowed on you. Oh yes, I like him. Oh, he's going with you. Oh, that is we wonderful. Have a full your oh, Didn't wonderful. Ha! Huh. Didn't you shall have a follow one? Be hard, <laughs> sir. I love that he's being told in this no, episode. More delighted than I to march out to war with the Dornishman. <laughs> May the seven guide you. I'm Good really night. enjoying this. And lead you not into shadow and death. She makes me piss as well the fact that she's just like proper off of him even though she's absolutely she grant her loving favor. it mm. that her lord commander may go into battle with her blessings in his heart oh do one take me and get and do one <gasps> oh i hate him the smug little smirky smirk oh i hope you get flambeed so bad I hope there's some crispified Kristen at the end of this episode. Oh, they do such a good job. This poor actor is going to be seen in the streets and heckled. <laughs> Please do work after this. You're, you are a great actor. Remember when um, oh, Jack Gleason, who played Joffrey, literally that he stopped acting for years? And I'm pretty sure part of it was due to the character that he played. Oh my good lord. Now... Oh, this cheeky little detail there. You're nasty. They've penetrated our castle walls and now the Riverlands are aflame after the Battle of the Burning Mill. Oh, yeah. How fares Prince Damon with our army? Oh, my God. Who there knows? There's been no word from Prince Damon, Your Grace. Then we must press what advantage we do have. Dragons. Send them all out. Start turning green strongholds to our cause. Hmm. If dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. Yeah. Fear of it is in itself a weapon. The greens will make the same calculation. <laughs> yeah. Who are you laughing at, mate? That's your queen, so just remember your place, shall we? Cure victory with armies, not with dragons alone. The Vale and the North will send men. We must give Damon time. You have witnessed firsthand just how vulnerable you are. <sighs> Prince Damon is abroad, and Egan's factions are enraged at the death of his son. Oh my god. They are kind of telling the truth, though. Well, we remain here as a source of distraction. Oh no, they're literally like, you go hide. It, it would merely be a precaution. No. It would be treason. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You are fortunate you took it yeah. no further. Yep, they wish to just do it behind the back. They're trying to do exactly what in the nicest way Rainey's told her they would do. The men of Westeros do not want do to be well led to by a woman. Their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, a prudent ruler, the wisest of Targaryen kings whose reign outlasted every other. Mm hmm. Even Egon the Conquerors. Yeah. Shut up and sit down. All right? Thank you. I love these two. I bade farewell to Rain. They've got the healthiest relationship in this whole <laughs> series. I would fight a hundred battles before I went into exile with none but prattling babes. Mmm, bless. Yeah. Babes, I feel cool. really bad. Joffrey. A boy of six who knows nothing of the sea. Oh, bless. Leave poor Joffrey alone. It would displease neither Rhaenyra nor the gods. 
Raina were named heir to Driftmark. Hmm. True. The girl knows nothing of ships, nor even of dragons. There is Raina, or there is Joffrey. Oh. See our way forward in time. And if there is no time. Mm. We are She's getting more worried. Course. Yeah. She's like, hello, wakey wakey, eggs and baker. Something was before you. Then we need to make a decision, well, hon. That I am a good sailor. I mean there is that as well, yeah, but you know, it might be worth, you know, a little chat about it. I have much to attend to. Call this, that doesn't help, honey. She's worried. Oh, bless. Oh, this poor girl. She's basically been sent away as head chief babysitter. Oh, is that one of the dragons or the boys or something? Go safely, sister. I will be safe enough. Oh, bless. Far away from any danger with only babes to nurse me. You do a great oh service. Do not coddle me, Bela. Grant me at least that dignity. I meant no insult. Oh, bless. We do what we can. And here, I think, is some consolation. What is it? An egg? Is it an egg? Tyrex and Stormcloud are young and vulnerable. These eggs are even more fragile. But should all come to ruin here, you will bear our hope for the future. Oh my god, are any of them da Daenerys' eggs? Your Grace. Oh. oh no, it must be so horrendous for her to have to say bye to her kids. Oh, I'm getting a horrible feeling by the music that she's not, like, not going to see him again for a really long time or just not ever again. The line carries on somehow, obviously. The line does carry on. I'm pretty sure Daenerys is related to Rhaenyra, so it has to be from one of her kids eventually. I just don't know which one ends up, or if any of them. I just don't know who survives. Uh, <laughs> the questions go around in my head all the time. Oh, bless her. Oh, Baylor. Reyna. Oh, it is sad, because like, if she did have a dragon... Oh my god. I wonder if they're the other ones that survive then, you know, the ones that get sent away to carry on the line down to Daenerys. I feel sad about Jaehaerys. Oh. Oh, this poor girl. Helena, yeah, babe. Helena, oh, she's, there is, there is things to be gained from, like, grief and processing it. God bless you. procession where the small folk all stared at me. Oh. I warrant they thought I had no more right to than they do. Surely they lose their babes more than highborn ladies. Oh, that is so sad. You have as much claim to grief as anyone. You? No. Oh, God bless her. God bless Helena. But She's such a little odd ball. My concern has been more for you and what you have endured. I forgive you. What? Oh, she blames her mum as well. <gasps> I said okay. that I forgive you. <laughs> yep, because that's what you wanted to hear. To be fair, Alison, that is what you've been wanting to hear. Steel. You felt guilty. It's worth more than a cast. Yes, yeah, should. If you weren't, you know, having a good time with Sir Kristen. There are rumours that the king readies himself to fly to war. Look at him stood there getting his armor put on. All of us to prevent our king from being brutally slain by our enemies and mm. his body parts scattered to beasts <laughs> in his court come to ruin. Oh not agree. <laughs> Laris has got a point, but he's going to convince him not to go. I think it's a smart idea not to go as well, to be honest. There are diverse I wouldn't personally want to be out there fighting. City. One such is that your Dragons be scary. forces to battle. Like, I'd love to ride a dragon. I wouldn't. I, don't, I love watching the fights, but I wouldn't want to be involved. <laughs> Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counsellors and persuaded to fly to war with Sir Criston so the Queen Alicent may reign in his absence with Prince Aemon at her side. Oh. Absurd, of course. Oh. Who spreads these lies? Matters little. He does. 
I reckon he started it. <laughs> My father always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. I find myself wanting for one. Oh, he's I should make... be glad of your talents. Him. You honor me, your grace. Oh, he's such a little schnigger schnickerson. Shall we escort you to the dragon pit, your grace? No, he's gonna say no. Change his mind. He's staying put. I think mayhaps I shall fly another day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it does seem wise mm. on reflection. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Wants bedding in. He's never fucked a woman. <laughs> no. Nope. Sworn to Is it gonna be? <laughs> oh bless. Of course, Your Grace. Oh my god. Oh, yes, your grace. God bless. Honey, you can't be expecting Egon to be living to all of us. I mean, he's just smiled now, but... Yeah, he's realising now that everything's not quite as what it seems, is it? Hmm. I've had quite a day of it. Yeah? Not sure I'm much for talking. A wet whistle works wonders. <laughs> <laughs> like get him a drink in. <laughs> the part of Westeros, my house never settled. Although it said even dawn mourned the passing of my grandsire, is that so? Who was your grandsire? They call him the conciliator. And Jaharis. <laughs> what? Please, continue. Look, I, I really shouldn't be telling you this. His grandsire? My head. You are saying you're a Targaryen? Yeah, he's a ba is he a bastard? What? I'm the son of Balon the Brave. Bastard brother to Prince what? Damon. What? Really? Uncle to the one true queen, Rhaenyra Targaryen. Re really? Men would take my head for it. A dragon seed must watch his own neck what? when he has no white cloak guardsman. A dragon seed? You do not look what, very much like King Viserys. Or Prince Damon. I mean, that is true, though. How do you know a what I little bit he of his face. truth right enough. Look, you can tell. By his hair. <laughs> yeah, because I'm their half-brother, you yeah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Who else doesn't have silver hair? The rightful heir to the Iron Throne, my nephew, Prince Viserys Valarian. Yeah, true, but everyone... Does everyone know? He's your other nephew. What? Which one? Who is it? Is that Aegon? Can't quite see. <gasps> it looks really is. Drinks for all at the pleasure of the crown. Yes! Oh, he's just come down to hang out. <laughs> Sit down. Sit yourself down. Is he just? Does he just chat rubbish? That guy. Oh my god, yeah, but they're going to be looking at him like this is not king. And also, he's making himself very vulnerable. He's got king's guard on him, but now they're all drunk and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh bless him. Pack it in. Oh no, don't. You still lie with your very first. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh. Did you fuck her like a hound? <laughs> oh my god. I do not exaggerate. Be quiet. I gone. Eamon might actually just turn around and punch her in the face. Oh, bless. He's really still getting bullied. You're not helping it out, I gone. Oh my god, what is he gonna do? <gasps> oh my god, what is he gonna do? Your squire is welcome to her. Oh my god. Oh, that is not gonna have sat well with him at all. Egon's such a moron. I bloody love Eamon's hair. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> it's such nice hair. That wig that they gave him is absolutely peak. <laughs> um, just say goodbye to her kids. At least we'd be safe, though. Hmm. What's it gonna be? Oh, is that the Raven? Is that yeah? Is that the letter from the Raven? Look, 
No, I wonder what it said in it. Egwene, our company has come back yonder. Mm. On the cold, hard ground. <laughs> Why we make for the bull? A tavern with an excellent reputation on the Rosby Road, not two miles away from memory so. I assure you, my nephew will not begrudge me a night of comfort. <laughs> Move out the way, Sir Kristen. <laughs> if it soothes your brow, Cole, we will rendezvous with your army at first light. <laughs> oh, did he think it was a dragon then? Cole? Get yep. to the trees! <laughs> yep, who is it up there? Baylor. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, I love like her seat. It looks well cool on her dragon. Yes. Oh, she's great, dragon rider. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Let me get some crispy fried Kristen, please. Please, just a little bit, at least a little bit. Just get him a little tiny torch. If we can't get him all together, can we get a little tiny torch torch? Come on, come on, come on, that's all I need. Come on, come on, that's all I need. Just a little bit of Christ be fine, Kristen. Now, just Dracarys, straight down there. Who cares about the woods? No offense. She could have, she could have Dracarys right then, straight forward. I would have got some of them. No offense, Baylor. <sighs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. She's not going to be able to see him through that. So then! Hmm. Bless her. I'd stay, maybe stay around there though for a little bit and see if she can spot him moving after a little while. I am in your debt. They know we're abroad, they'll be hunting. And we must move under the trees and by cover of dark starting tonight. And no fucking inns. <laughs> Damn it. Sir Kristen Cole. <gasps> oh, I hate that he's kind of right. With some half dozen other nights, I'm sure of it. Could you be certain it was mm. Cole from such a great height? It was not such a great height, Your Grace. You said not to engage, so I didn't. Oh, bless. Your Grace, we commend the <laughs> Oh, that's why she didn't just Dracarys them. I wish she did, though, but yeah, I understand. She didn't want to act like without the Queen's permission. It is Prince Damon who ought to worry. Prince Damon has Caraxes. Loose the dragons, root coal out, and burn him. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I agree with that. Hmm. I have heard your arguments and will consider them. Fair. Fair. Political. <laughs> but okay. Just don't take too long. But she was good not to act rash and just be like, hey, let's burn everyone to the ground. Let's go now. Because that's what they wanted. That's what the guys wanted her to do. But Renee's was like, give it a look like, don't forget. If we start this, it doesn't end well. <laughs> Just constantly dripping in Harren Hall. God, what a damp old place to live in. Who is it? Stop, is no one going to be there? Is it going to be like ooky spooky ghost vibes? Pack it in. Somebody drawing him out? Who is this? What the heck? Is it that woman from before? But then... Why would she have just been like on his door like that? Oh, it's a dream. Always coming yeah. and going, aren't you? It's got to be a dream. And I have to clean up afterwards. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, definitely a dream. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, well, oh, we saw that that one of them trees. Oh, he's getting visions like some of the Targaryen dreamers. 
You will die she? in this place. <gasps> yeah, who is she? Ooh, okay, spooky. Hmm. What do you know of the movements of Alice and Hightower? Oh, she wants to know. Is she going to go try and find her? Would you take her hostage? Kill her outright. I would <laughs> speak with her myself. <laughs> what? Killing her would be easier. <laughs> True. Probably though. It is it's sad. I am like, I'm with Renera. I'm an idealist too, but <laughs> sitting on the outside, you do kind of get the perspective of everybody else. <laughs> you can have a message brought to her in secret. She would not agree to it. She would suspect some subterfuge. As would I if I received such a message. I must see her. Oh, she's going to try and sneak in. She goes nowhere without many eyes watching her. Mm. What? Unless it's fraught. Speak it. What? There are fishing boats plenty in the bay. Damon made the journey unhindered. But if I'm recognised. Oh, yeah. But most folk pay no mind to a woman who has not dressed as a queen or lured herself with the eyes of men. Uh. She just needs to go like in like a bin bag. <laughs> there is one place Alison goes. Outside the to castle prayer. walls. Oh wait, no, it might not be to prayer. Well, you may yet find her alone. I wonder if that big candle prayer room's like away from the castle walls, because I know she does go there a lot. No, we're never right behind her right now. Was one of them in Rhaenyra? No. <laughs> yep. <gasps> no, stop it. Just like mooching through town. Absolutely wild. I would have like maybe even pushed it forward a bit more in here. I can literally see like, you know, white bits of your hair poking outside, love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good idea though. Oh, I so wish they could like make amends, but I really don't see it happening. Like I really don't. Oh yeah, just mooch him with all of them. Quick, quick, get right behind them. So it looks like you're all together. Oh my god, that is wild. Oh, 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 come on! Yeah, like the guards are more likely to know who are by face, aren't they? But yeah, it's just like, kids, just keep your head down, our kid. Just keep it right down, mate. Yep, mm hmm, mm hmm. Keep your guard up, keep your guard up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, please. <laughs> I wish they could just make amends. It's so sad. I just want them to be friends. I want Rhaenyra to rule as queen and I just want the Targaryens to live a nice, long and happy life. <laughs> Is it too much to ask for? And Rhaenyra's gonna come walking in there any second. Look side of her. Oh my god. Oh my actual god. <laughs> Actually wild. <laughs> Shh, quiet, 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 quiet. Let her speak with her. Your knights would find me, I would be taken or slain. Please. I killed you. <gasps> and then what? <laughs> They're both dead. <laughs> That's what, so much up, Alison, and talk. Oh, bless. They were best friends, though. This is horrible. We watched the tourney together, you and I. The day my brother was born. Oh, bless. We knew, even then, that men trained up for battle are eager to fight. To see blood and glory. Yeah. I know you do not have that desire within you. Oh, bless. Why can't they just be friends? Rhaenys has cancelled me. She said she saw in you a wish to avert the worst of what may now come. So yeah. you've come to surrender then? No, Alison, good lord. To see if we may uncover some path towards peace. Oh my god. There are no terms now. You have no oh, There could be Alison. Your allies turn from you and they hear of your depravity. Your hands are bloody to no crime. I could never have imagined you. Oh my god. Don't be stupid, Alison. She would never do that. I am a mother too, and you have yet to answer for the murder of my son. I repudiate that act with all my heart. Of course you do. 
I'm usurping my rightful inheritance. Mm-hmm. She was right there, wasn't she, Alison? Suffering and death of thousands in order that your feckless son your sits father changed his mind. No, we didn't. Mere hours before I left him, he had affirmed my right to the throne. Oh my god, yeah. Come on, Alicent man. His mind was changed in an instant. I will. Mm. You lie. My father loved me, Alicent. Oh, bless. When was Tell her the mistake. Sin? Was your ambition so cute? He changed his mind, Rhaenyra. He changed his mind. Tell her that it was like kind of ish what he said so that she could understand. To you on the memory of my mother. And at times unkind but never untrue. I pronounced before all gathered in that room that you would make a fine queen. Mm. Do you think me capable of such naked deceit? Oh, she's gonna realise that she really thinks her dad changed her mind like changed his mind. Oh no, now Renera's gonna believe it too. I'd be like, what exactly did he say? What did he say? Yeah. yeah. What did he say? Say it. Just say he spoke of Egon's dream. And then she'll get it. My God, Alison. But he spoke Egon's name. Egon the Conqueror. Egon's dream. Rhaenyra, think about it. The prince that was promised to unite the realm. There we go. No. I desire peace as you use no. it. My father used those words. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? Oh my God. Did understand. He? Yes, he did. Yes, tell her she got it wrong. Tell her she got it wrong. <laughs> Spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. He thought it was you, Rhaenyra. She doesn't know. He thought it's it was you. He once told. Oh my god. About Egon the Conqueror. Egon the Conqueror, you idiot! You idiot, Alison! You moron! The Conqueror. Hmm. Oh my god, Alison realising. Oh my god. Alison. Yes. Realise. Realise. Come to it. There's been a mistake. There's been a mistake. Please. Yeah, there has been a mistake, Alison, and you bloody you well know it. Do not let your pride blind you. There's, There's been no mistake. Yes, there has, Alison, and you bloody well know it. But this is her turn around saying, "No, I'm, I'm. That's it. Like that's the last of it. She's having of it." Corey's on the march, Jamie. She knows she can't stop it now. That's it. Oh, bless. That's what she's saying. She can't stop it. Yeah. I do kind of believe Alison can't stop it, to be honest with you. I don't think Alison would be able to stop it. Oh, but you started it, though, didn't you, Alison? Oh, damn it. By being mistaken. Oh, no. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad we got this bit where she tells her. So we can at least get something between the two of them. Some acknowledgement of as to what happened here with Egon being crowned. Oh. Oh, I needed that. I needed that so bad. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Rodney. Rodders. That was a good one, wasn't it? I enjoyed. I enjoyed. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was definitely a good one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I actually think I liked this one better than the second one. So, at the minute, first one's my fave. Then the third. Then the second. Loved this though. Loved it. Loved that ending. Yes. I needed, I needed Rhaenyra and Alison to talk. I needed this to come out about what freaking Viserys said. Oh, I'm so glad they did it in that moment as well. And the way they explained it was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. I was literally thinking in my head, are they going to draw this out? So it takes a little while for them sort of to like figure out what happened. But the fact they just laid it out by Alison saying the prince that was promised. Like that that was such a good line to use. I love that, love that from the writers because it was just an automatic light bulb moment for Rhaenyra and that is what I needed. And the same for Alison to be fair as well. Alison knows full well. When Rhaenyra said that back to her, Alison knew full well exactly what had just happened. Like, oh my God, I think she's gonna struggle to sleep tonight. Let me tell you that much. Oh my God, that is what I needed though. So this is gonna be in the back of Alison's head now. I'm glad this has finally come out, but I suppose she is right. Like it's kind of too little too late now. 
things are already going the way they're going. Egon's not going to give up the throne. He certainly won't listen to his mother if she turned around and was like, oh, actually, there's been a mistake. We just need to give the crown to Rhaenyra. Like, Egon and Aemon aren't going to stand for that. And realistically, I don't think Otto, Otto would probably come back. I don't think Otto would stand for it. I don't think any of the Kingsguard that are currently loyal to Egon would stand for that either. So at, at the minute, I guess Alison is right. It sort of is like too little too late. What else do we do at this point? Like, the war has started. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Why did they have to speak to each other too late? Do you know what though? I've got a feeling this season is going to be full of what ifs, but if we didn't do that kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just want all the Targaryens to live happily and in peace. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, I'm not being funny, but perhaps this is what happens when, you know, you like interbreed your children. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I genuinely thought this was a really great episode. I absolutely loved it. I love to see the bit that we got of Damon and Harrenhal. And like, was he touching one of those trees that we see in Game of Thrones? Is that maybe where those visions came from? I've got a feeling it might have been that. Yeah, I like that bit. It was just a bit weird. Like seeing young Rhaenyra and then poor Jaehaerys. Oh, very nice to see Millie, the actress that plays young Rhaenyra. Nice to have a little cameo from her in there. I wasn't expecting to see her in literally any of the other seasons of House of the Dragons. So that was very nice. Maybe she had a free day spare and they were like, hmm, what can we, what can we give her? What can we make her do for this day? She's, she's in the area. Why not have her in one of the scenes? Oh, I know. Why don't I have her sewing up Jagaris' neck? Nails <laughs> We're getting to see a bit of a fractious dynamic now as well between Rhaenyra and her council, which obviously is mostly made up of men. And you can sort of see her and Rhaenys sort of either end of that table thinking about what the right choices are. And obviously they don't really want to make the same choices as the men at this point. The men very much are, let's go to war, let's get the dragons out, let's do all this. But I do think Rhaenys is wise in her counsel to Rhaenyra. Like we all know, if dragons start fighting dragons, it's going to be a whole goddamn mess. So honestly, I do think like prolonging the use of the dragons in terms of dragon war is a good thing. Do I think it's going to last very long? No, honestly, I think Rhaenys and Rhaenyra are going to come to the realization at some point that dragons are going to be have to used for this. And I really don't want my favorite dragons to die. I don't want any dragons to die. I don't want any dragons to get hurt. This is all one whole big nasty ass misunderstanding. And it's awful. It's like, it's literally all spanned. Like in my eyes, it literally has all spanned from Alicent not understanding what Viserys was saying. I understand things happened before that, you know, Aemon got his eye cut out. We did get a vague eye at the end of the day. He was antagonizing them. Now listen, we've had conversations in the comments, you guys, and we're all a bit here and there about who actually started the fight <laughs> between Aemon and like Baylor and Raina and Jason Luke. And I understand that Baylor or Raina did come for Aemond first after he antagonized them but actually like they never actually like got their hand on him he literally like threw it to the ground so technically I'm just saying I'm just saying and then he carried on to antagonize them grabbed Jace had like a rock to his head and stuff like but yeah, we're already seeing both sides trying to pose the question of where did this all start? And it's just like they were saying with the, was it the Brackens and the Blackwoods? It's the same thing, like it's been going on for that long. They have no idea what they were even starting the fight over in the first place. I feel like that's how we're going to get with this. I do know obviously by like 200 years later, we have had Targaryen kings back on the throne. We have had Targaryens living, but we also do know that the dragons become very, very small until they finally go extinct, until Danny gets her eggs and hatches them. So, oh, and were those? Was Danny's eggs that were sent away with Baylor. I wonder if three of those eggs, I think there was four, but I didn't recognize one of them. I did think that some of those eggs did look similar to the ones that Danny ends up getting. I don't know if they're the same ones, but obviously there were four there. So I wonder if one of them maybe hatches before and the other three don't. They're getting sent away to basically be like babysitter, God bless her, to the little kids. I get it. She doesn't have a dragon, which at the end of the day, like, it does make her more vulnerable as well. And at the end of the day, she's a Targaryen and Valerian. We need to keep these guys safe. There's not very many of them left in the world. I do wonder if they've tried Reyna with, like, all the other dragons. I just wonder, you know, like, some people do claim their dragons, like, later on, like, um, Aemon did with Vega. Have they literally tried it with every single dragon and just none of them are bonded? I just find it a proper shame. Like, there are a few dragons that are unclaimed, aren't there? For example, Sea Smoke. I just wonder if they not, like, tried to bond them. Yeah, real shame for her, but hopefully that means that maybe she survives as well. I don't know. I don't know. I do wish Baylor had gone a tiny bit Dracarys on Sir Kristen. I'm not going to lie. Just a little bit of crispy Kristen would have been so, so good for my life and soul. But no. I mean, we did get some sass from... Alicent's brother towards him, which I absolutely loved. I love the kind of attitude that everybody was giving him in the small council. That really made my day. <laughs> 
I just wish that he could have been a little bit crispy fried too. I'm hoping he gets to Harren Hall and Damon absolutely obliterates him. That is my hope and wish for the next episode that Sir Christian turns up at Harren Hall and Damon makes him Sir Crispy Fried Crispin Chicken. Thank you so much for watching with me today, guys. I appreciate you so much. If you haven't already, please consider liking the video, leave a comment so we can have a discussion, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of this. Head over to Patreon if you want to get behind the scenes, early access, and all that good stuff. And of course, if you want to have a little bit of input on what I watch here on the channel, I appreciate you all very, very much for being here today, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon, four o'clock in the morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. Look after yourself, be kind, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Mwah, mwah. I'm a Rastafarian. Targaryen. Does anybody else remember that? There was like a video that the whole cast of Game of Thrones did years ago now, obviously years and years and years ago, but it was like a whole spoof, like, I can't remember, did they do for like comic relief? But they did this like spoof, like music video thing and they had Amelia Clark singing like, I'm a Rastafarian, Targaryen, but I can't remember the rest of it. I'm gonna go Google it now. I'm gonna go Google it now. Game of what now? I'm a Rastafarian, Targaryen. I got some dragons and they are very scary. And oh my god, Alison's face dropped when she realised though. <laughs> Would you not be mortified? Listen, even if this war could be reversed, Alison is just like, nah, nah. Can you imagine? And just being there, like doing your prayers, just like do 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 do. And then like Three minutes later, you've had a conversation and your old best mate who you like basically usurped the throne from turns around and lets you know that he made a mistake. Ooh. <laughs> you know Alison has gone back to her chambers being like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> oh, by the way, I haven't seen Frederigo. I'm just gonna like hope and pray that like he left. In my head, he left, he got out of a window, he's living his best life. I just hope he knows that I wasn't trying to kill him, you know? I wanted to set him free. I don't want to kill him. I don't want him to have a bad life. Okay, bye. <laughs> I actually needed that scene. Anybody else? Anybody else? I actually needed that scene between them both. I needed, I needed Alison to find out that she's been wrong this entire time. Stupid coot.